All right, so we are back with our now third Glow Addict subscription box. It is a very new one that I just joined. It is very niche, very low key. They don't do variations. So far, I've really liked what they've included with each of the other two boxes that we've received so far. So I'm really excited to look into this one. I try really hard not to look at spoilers because obviously there are no variations. So spoilers are going to indicate exactly what's in the box. I do know the theme is mermaids. So I love it. I think it's perfect for, for like midsummer, July. I think it's a great theme. I hope that it's going to be as exciting as I think it's going to be. I have seen a little bit about it as, as good as I try to be, but I did want to just really quickly, I try not to do this at the beginning of videos because I want to get right into it, but I want to say thank you. This is actually the very first, the day, the year mark. How, what am I trying to say? This is the year mark of our very first video that we posted. We posted on July 8th of 2019. I just want to say thank you guys so much. We've grown so incredibly fast. 2020 has been really hard. Um, it's it's stressful and it's sad and it's hard to um, to keep sp positive spirits right now But really this channel has been such a, a really wonderful outlet. Um, I love each and every one of our subscribers I love you guys for commenting and I love for watching and, and all of everything that you do to support us And I just want to say thank you know that even if I don't respond to comments all the time Sometimes it's just because I get in my own head and I'm like trying to think about what to say back and it, I wind up waiting too long and it that's just a, that's a me thing. That's not like a, I don't care. I, I love each and everything that you guys have to say. And um, I really appreciate it. So thank you guys for a year. Here's to many more. Hope we grow uh, even bigger next year. So yeah. All right, let's get into the box. That's what you guys care about. Glow Addict. So what it looks like. Mermaid themed. Let's see what we got. So first thing I got, looks like two little mini palettes. They're pretty good about including a palette with every box. And normally it's like a palette, uh, fake lashes, maybe a brush or two. Um, some sort of skincare item. That's kind of like what I've gotten the vibe from them. But they do a really good job of keeping it consistent and exciting each. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so it's Beauty Creations Splash of Love and, uh, well, well, they're both Splash of Love, but what are they? What, what the, one's blue and one's pink. That's all I'm seeing in terms of like what the difference, but they're both the Splash of Love. <laughs> I'm losing it, it's fine. When you open it up, it is heart shaped. They include little mirrors, but they are little glitter pig. I mean like hyper glitter pigments. I think it goes right into that whole mermaid theme. This definitely gives me mermaid vibes. I'm interested. A lot of times when you have this big chunky glitter, a lot of times they'll say it's not safe for eye use because it is so um, large and chunky. It might like actually get into your eye and blind you. So I, I wanna, I'm curious to see. No, so it looks like it is, it is an eyeshadow palette and basically their warning just says if you feel some sort of discomfort in your eyes or especially if you wear contact lenses, then just rinse your eyes well. Um, and be more cautious next time. So so it does look like their eyeshadow palettes. I am so excited to play with these. They look like they're gonna be absolutely gorgeous. And just out of curiosity, I really wanna just swatch one shade from each. <gasps> oh my God. Ah, but it, it's a little chunky. Okay, so the rubbing, rubbing is not gonna work, but patting, it does definitely disperse a little bit. I think this is going to be one of those cases where it does a really good job under, or I'm sorry, over another color. So if you have a matte shade under it and then you put this on top of it, I think that's going to be the best bet for um, really getting the best payoff. But I'm gonna do the gold from the pink palette. I don't know why I wouldn't do one of the pinks, but I didn't do that. So that's what it looks like on my finger, like kind of a coppery color. And it's the same kind of thing, very sporadic, but I really think even if you put it on top of another glitter shade, like not like a chunky glitter shade, but one of the just normal like shimmer shades. I think that this is going to have a lot of really cool payoff. I do think this is also like, I know 2020 is probably not gonna see like a lot of festivals and like large crowd type things. But I definitely could see this being like a really nice face accent for like a festival vibe type thing. So I'm excited about these, really cute. Um, it's different from what they've done in the other two boxes I've received where we received really large full size palette. So I like this, I think it's cute and exciting. The next thing we have is Eye Beauty Under the Sea collection and they are three sets of false lashes. I will say I do not wear false lashes really ever, but I did put on the 420 lashes during a CBD product, um, like little tutorial get ready with me thing that where I use like a lot of CBD products and because it was 420 lashes, I just threw those in there too. They came in my very first, I think, Glow Attic box and I loved them. They're gorgeous. They were easy to apply. So I'm really excited to try these because they look very similar, very full, gorgeous lashes, but they have like a nice rounded shape, which I found like 
one of the videos I struggled to put on lashes. I, I went back and tried to reuse those lashes again. And I feel like it's because they're like flat, like they're just like cardboard, like they're like blah. So these have that beautiful rounded shape. Hopefully they're flexible. Cause I think that was the big benefit with the 421s. And I'm just keep showing you guys upside down. This is, but we, so we've got beach please. Mermosa and Shelia, yeah, love the name, super adorable. Um, yeah, I'm excited about this. I feel like having this box is going to push me to get more comfortable with fake lashes, which is something that I, I'm okay doing. I won't ever wear them daily, but I think like I definitely could start doing them for special occasions and holidays and stuff like that. So I'm kind of excited to like, for this box to push me out of my comfort zone. I don't know what this is. It is swirl and sparkle. Oh, a bestie for your brushes. It is a little um, tin, uh, it, okay, sorry, I just got distracted because it's brush. It is a tin of uh, brush cleanser, but look at the inside of it. It's got a little mermaid art in there. I was not expecting that. Oh, I love it. Oh, I think it, and I think it's like sealed to the bottom of the tin. That's what it kind of feels like, hopefully, because I want to keep it. I wanna keep the tin forever, it smells good too. I love brush cleansers. I don't wash my brushes very often. Um, so when I do, it's a whole it's a whole thing, like a whole day commitment of like just washing all of my brushes because I dirty some and then I'm just like, they're too dirty to use now, I'll move on to another set. It's, it's awful. This is the spoiler that I did see. I tried so hard to be good, but I saw it and I was like, I'm gonna love this box because we got a huge brush set. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, so 10 brushes. They're mermaid brushes, look at them. Look at them little mermaids. I wanna take them out. I'm interested just feeling them. I mean, so the thing with this box is because it is more of a niche box, um, kind of still low key, the, the product quality sometimes is, it's not at quite like prestige brands. It's kind of like more in between prestige and drugstore. That's what the box is. It's not very expensive. Um, I did the year long subscription and um, they do charge for shipping. So I think like after shipping and stuff, it's normally like, $22 or something like that, like $18 for the box and like normally three or $4 for shipping. So really not very expensive. Oh God, they're so cute. I don't like fan brushes very much. So the breast, the, the bristles do feel a little bit like synthetic, but they're soft. Um, and when I say synthetic, I don't know, like you feel them and they kind of feel like plasticky, but they're soft. Um, it's definitely something I'm gonna have to test to see if the quality is there, but no matter what, even if they're not the breast brushes, they are really precious and I, They'd probably be something I would use for decoration even if I absolutely hate them. Yeah, I, I mean, I the brushes are so hard. You guys know what I'm talking about. You can't, until you really use them, you can't really be like, oh, they're precious, but like, are they gonna be good? So, so I'm interested to test those out. The last thing we got, I was pretty on the money with the kind of the vibe of the boxes and, and what they include in each. We do have skincare. So uh, like I said, palette, eyelashes, normally some sort of a brush and skincare. So, um, and then like an extra item. So pretty, I mean, it's a pretty good formula. If you guys know that that's what you're looking for, maybe a good box for you. But yeah, so we've got three sheet masks. They are all vitamin based. So we got a vitamin A, a vitamin E and a vitamin C. And it looks like they have like, it's a two step one. So you have a toner that you put on first, which is like up here in the top of this little pouch. So you see it and then down in the bottom, there is the actual sheet mask portion of it. So I personally like sheet masks more probably than I like other masks. Like um, there's a couple that I really am a fan of, but I really would prefer sheet masks because it's just easier to clean up. And I feel like they do a really good job of kind of giving you that like nice dewy glow all day. So, um, so yeah, I like this box. Um, I think it definitely was right on theme, which I, I'm a sucker for theme, theme parties, theme anything. I love it. So if you can manage to do a box like this and stay on a uh, topic, if you will, especially with something as specific as mermaids, I love it. I love it. So um, I'm not sure if this is one of my favorite boxes. I think actually June's box has been my favorite box we've received so far because um, it was pride themed and I really thought they did a good job with that as well. And the palette they sent us was really cute and rainbow and, but I like this box a lot. It's probably my second favorite. So I'm excited to see what the, uh, the next, well, we're up to three months, nine months of this subscription uh, is going to look like, um, but I am enjoying it so far and I really do like getting subscription boxes. So I hope you guys are enjoying seeing the Glow Addict saga. Um, I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy right now. I know everything is a little bit crazy. Once again, just really thank you guys for this year of support. We we love you so much and we really couldn't do it without you. So um, so really from the bottom of our hearts where everything we do is because you guys are um, allowing us and, and caring about what we have to say. So thank you. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with the dark twist.